Fleet of the Geek is on the prowl again. She's she's doing her thing. And uh, like Watcher's eyes all mirrored a video from Death of Speech. I don't blame Watcher. He's just doing something for a friend and you know, that's fine. It's not his words. And it's good to be exposed to different perspectives and different points of view. Anyway, Death of Speech. In the, in his video, he's saying that you know from from the time back when uh, when he released a Skype log from the uh, United Through Common Dreads group, okay, that contained the docs of members of the AOD and United Through Common Dreads. He says that because everybody signed a, you know, because everybody agreed to transparency, you know, that they agreed to ha to this action. They agreed to have these, this Skype log released. Well, if he actually believes that everybody agreed to this, then why did he lock out the United Through Common Dreads group from the directory. Why did he refuse to remove docs from the from the file? Why did he ref, you know, Why was he insistent on it being done this way? And why didn't he talk to the United Through Common Dreads group before releasing the docs? No, apparently. He knew this, his personal interpretation of the group charter is not the same as the interpretation of the rest of the group. And he knows it. This isn't what they agreed to, and he knows it. The Skype logs contain people's stocks. It's in the nature of Skype, really. Okay. By default, I don't even know if you can change this, all right? But I know by default, at least, Skype records, uh, Skype logs your real name, okay? The, the claim that Taman's girl uses her real name as her Skype name is bullshit. She doesn't. She uses her, the name Taman's girl as her Skype name. But Skype by default, logs your real name. You have to specifically tell Skype to not do it. Either on your user settings, you can do that, or maybe you can do that in the logs, I don't know, because I've never logged something, okay? But normally, by default, it logs your real name. And most people don't realize this. So, as a common courtesy, the group, and I, I understand that the group agreed to this, was going to remove all docs from the logs. Sanitize the logs so that, the, you know, so that all identities were replaced with their... You know, with their YouTube counterparts so that everybody knew who was saying what and that real names were not published and real identities were not given out. This is a reasonable cause of action and it is part of what the group agreed to. Death of Speech took it upon himself to publish the logs without this sanitation. If he had waited, the logs would have been... You know, if he's right and that the group had actually agreed to, trans, to publish the logs, then they would have been published just without people's docs. Okay. So either he's lying and they did not agree to publish the docs, you know, the, this log, or 
they agreed to publish the log, but not docs. And if he had just waited, their docs would have been removed from the log. And my understanding is, is that's what was going to happen, that, the, that this log was going to be published anyway, as per the transparency charter, sans docs. Death of Speech just didn't want the docs published sans docs. He wanted you know, the, the log, he wanted the log published with docs intact. This can also be uh, shown by the fact that you know, his, his example of harassment is just the AOD and the United Through Common Dreads desperately trying to get him to remove the docs. And he wouldn't do it. He was adamant about it. He's insisting on publishing it with docs. All he had to do was remove the docs. He didn't want that done. So it's pretty clear this was a transparent excuse for publishing docs. The end. He could have had everything else, just not the docs. But he insisted on having the docs. So clearly, the docs were the point. That's what he wanted. It was a transparent excuse to dock drop. The end. And he's still making the damn excuse. But it's still an excuse. If he was seriously not interested in dropping docs, then why did he insist on keeping the damn docs? That was the critical point the entire fucking time. He could have removed the docs, easily done, and, you know, redacting the, doc, the docs, easy done, and it would have been over. Oops, I made a mistake. Sorry. Shit happens. No. Besides, you know, why, why go ahead and do this? And, you know, and again, you know, why did he lock United Through Common Dreads out of their directory? And, you know, the other thing is, is why didn't he talk through to United Through Common Dreads about this? I understand. He just took it upon himself. He didn't talk to anybody about this. He could have talked to the group and asked them, you know, can we do this now? You know, you know, I thought, you know, I want to, this document published now. He could have done that. He could have asked that. And if it was appropriate, maybe it would have happened. But no, that's, that's not what he did. Okay. <clears throat> so, so it seems to me pretty clear all this was about was dropping docs. A transparent excuse to drop docs. Now, the rape shaming of Tamon's girl, okay? Somebody publicly mentions Tamon's girl's, Tamon's girl being raped in, in, in the form of, you know, questioning whether or not it even happened. But publicly, well, publicly, nobody fucking knew. So, why publicly question it? I mean, what's the point of publicly questioning something to people who don't even know what the fuck you're talking about? <clears throat> if it's not public, you don't mention it publicly. If you wanted to call it into question, fine, do it privately. Why make it public? unless the point was to make it public. Again, a transparent, a transparent excuse for publicly, you know, for making something public that was private, that should have been private. And he was, you know, you know his excuse, oh, I was just calling it into question. Well, gee, nobody knew about it. Why the fuck do you need to call it into question in the first place? 
<laughs> this is bullshit. Okay. Now another thing, and this one goes under both uh, on both categories. All right. It wouldn't have gone public if the you know both cases. All right. The 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 dock dropping and Tamans girls. Um, rape being made public wouldn't have become public if the AOD hadn't thrown a fit. The AOD threw a fit because it was being made public. <laughs> Cause and effect is being shipped around here. <laughs> the AOD reacting did not make it public because they were re reacting to the fact that it was already made public. <laughs> so, you know, that's a bit of bullshit. You know, that's um, shifting the blame. The OD was reacting to what these guys did, to what uh, Felita the Geek's minions did. And then the minions are trying to blame the AOD for their own fucking actions. Nice work there.